So this one day, I was just walking when I accidentally stepped on a bunch of ants, and it irked me out instantly. Like, I couldn't sleep that night. All I kept thinking was, what if the ants just popped up out of nowhere? Like, what if one of them hit me at, I don't know, a million miles per hour? What's the worst that could happen, right? Well, you'd die. Because we're talking 300 million miles per hour. 300 million. Sounds insane? Yes, because it is. The speed of light, which is the fastest thing in the entire universe, clocks in at about 670 million miles per hour. And this ant? He's going nearly half that speed, which is still completely illegal. Like, against the laws of physics. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the faster you go, the more energy you need. And once you start creeping up toward light speed, that energy requirement shoots through the roof. You hit light speed, you need infinite energy. Even getting close to it turns you into a walking physics crime. Now, a regular ant weighs about 3 milligrams. That's basically nothing. Like, you could accidentally breathe one in and not even notice, but when it's moving at 300 million miles per hour, that tiny little insect becomes a miniature weapon of mass destruction. At that speed, this ant could hit you with the energy of a nuclear bomb. Okay, maybe not Tsar Bomba levels, the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated on Earth that's 50 megatons, but still, we're talking about a massive explosion. Enough to flatten a few blocks. And yes, from an ant. I wish I were joking. I really do. But nope. This is actual physics. That's the kind of explosion that could wipe out an entire city off the map. A whole skyline, gone, because one furious little ant decided to launch itself like a missile. This isn't just fast. It's reality-breaking fast. At that speed, the ant would reach you before sunlight could reflect off it. Like, it hit you before your brain even registered it was there. No pain. No drama. No slow-mos. Just poof. Vaporized. You'd go from, hey, what's that? To being a plasma cloud in a trillionth of a second. The air around you? That explodes too, from the shockwave. It'd be like someone set off a bomb mid-air. Buildings nearby would shake. The ground might crack. The sky would probably flash like a panic attack wrapped in a lightning storm. This wouldn't just take you out, it would leave a crater, like a mini meteor strike. Because something even as small as an ant, when moving this fast, turns into a high speed wrecking ball. At speeds this close to light, weird stuff happens. Objects start shrinking in the direction they're moving. That's called the length contraction. Time slows down for them. Mass increases like it's on steroids. So now, this ant isn't just fast, it's super dense. Basically, an ultra-heavy, angry bug squashing the very fabric of space in front of it. And when it hits you, that's not a bug smacking a human anymore. That's a high-energy particle collision, the kind that only happens inside the Large Hadron Collider. Except this time, you are the collider. Your atoms will be shattered. Quarks, the stuff that makes up protons and neutrons, would be scattered like confetti. You'd get hit with gamma rays, neutrinos, and a truckload of radiation. You wouldn't just die, you'd deconstruct. You'd stop being a matter. You'd become raw data, a glitch in someone else's simulation. So, yeah, if an ant were to hit you at 300 million miles per hour, you'd die, but not just any death. You'd die instantly but the probability of this actually happening is almost near to zero, because ants don't go that fast. And Einstein is still undefeated. And yeah, I'm still working on my awareness of my surroundings, because at this point, I'm offending no one, big or small. You never know who's going to be in charge in the future. Could be ants, could be pigeons, and I'm not taking chances.